This exact type of quadratic questions always comes up in GCSE exams. Pause the video and solve it. Let's look at the number at the very end. We need to write all factor pairs of negative 9. Negative 1 times 9, negative 3 times 3, 1 times negative 9. Now, let's look at the number in the middle, 8. Now, which pair add up to this number? Negative 3 add 3 gives you 0, so it's not that. 1 add negative 9 gives you negative 8. That's not it. Negative 1 add 9 actually add up to 8. So that is my pair. Then you write a pair of empty brackets like this. And the first term is y here. And for the next term, we are going to put one of these two. Now we know either y minus 1 is 0 or y add 9 is equal to 0. y is equal to the opposite of this, which is 1. Or y is equal to negative 9. Done. <laughs> 